Alright guys, this is going to be a video response here to uh, Copper Cab, and um, this video, oh wow, these videos did get deleted, awesome, but uh, it's entitled uh, Dear Sheep of the World, but um, in this video he basically says that everybody's just following a trend when they play Call of Duty, and that it's leading to more killing. Now here's my argument against that, and um, why I think you're wrong, Copper. Violent video games actually are a way to reduce stress for young people. Normally, you should you should actually be thankful for this because um, people would actually they would go into the game when they're pissed off. You know, they go into the game to play zombies or whatever, and just kill zombies until you know their uh, until their stress is gone, basically. Now, this is a I don't have to tell you that this is a lot better than just going out and killing somebody in real life in reality. You know. Because, uh, yeah, I, I haven't really thought out this yet. I'm, I'm just making a point here. And he also said, what else did he say? Um, oh, yeah, he said we're just following. That's right. He said we're following the trends. And we're not setting them or whatever. We're just following mainstream trends. Have you ever thought that maybe people actually like to play these games? And they're not doing it just to follow a trend? They're doing it. They're playing them because they like them. You know? I mean, personally, I don't play Call of Duty, I don't really like this stuff, and I'm not going to play it because of a, a trend, quotations. It's just dumb. What you said in this video was just dumb. It's it's your opinion, and your opinion is just dumb. It's like... I mean, everybody thinks that violent video games are actually going to lead children to have more violent behavioral tendencies that's not the case that's really not the case statistics have not shown anything like that of course statistics have not shown anything against that I do not believe I will do more research on this here I'm gonna I'm actually gonna see oh man excuse me I'm gonna go see if this is actually statistics show or not so uh, hold on guys okay guys so I found this site so this is procon.org and it's on video games right up there so by the way, I'm watching Lord of the Rings, but, um, we Okay, so, here's the pros and cons of this. You'll see this here. These are factual things, too. I'll read, I'll read the con side, or actually, I'll read the pro side first. This is a, quite a lengthy list here. It's 15 long. So, this is going to be a little bit longer than I intended it to be, but, um, okay, so, Pro, like this is f saying that it does contribute to this. Increasing reports of bullying can be partially attributed to the popularity of violent video games. The 2008 study Grand Theft Childhood reported that 60% of middle school boys who played at least one mature one mature rated game hit or beat up someone, compared to 39% of boys did not play mature rated games. So, well, that's basically bullshit right there, and I can tell you why because you know. When, when you're younger, you have this tendency like, oh, I'm an adult and I can play these games. I mean, every like, every boy is pretty much the same way. You can't say that, oh, this kid's never played an M game because that's bullshit. They, everybody's played an M game at least sometime in their life between the ages of probably 13 now to 16 before they're actually allowed to. Guaranteed. Video games often reward players for... Er, yeah, video games often reward players for simulating violence and thus enhance the learning of violent behaviors. When violence is rewarded in video games, players exhibit increased aggressive behavior compared to players' video games where violence is punished. Okay. I don't. I, I'm not going to even argue with that one. Violent video games desensitize players to real life violence. It is common for victims in video games to disappear off screen when they are killed or players have multiple lives. In a 2005 study, violent video game exposure has been linked to reduce P300 amplitudes in the brain, which is associated with desensitization to violence and increase in aggressive behavior. Okay. A 2000 FBI report includes playing violent video games and a list of behavior associated with school shootings okay so I mean of course you're gonna have these kids that are gonna t 
take a game too seriously. Like, these are the people that have mental disabilities, or, like, they're insane. They're just, they're just insane. So, it's best not to judge just by this one. I don't know how to explain it, but you know what I mean. By the video games teach youth that it is. I need a drink of water. Fuck. I cannot read all this shit. Just like this. Alright, so. Daddy's happy now. <clears throat> Alright. Violent video games teach youth that violence is an acceptable, conflict-solving strategy and an appropriate way to achieve one's goals. Not really. But, I'll finish reading this. A 2009 study found that the youth who play violent video games have a lower belief in the use of non-violent strategies that are less forgiving than play players of non-violent video games. So, what they're saying is people that play video play violent video games are in, at an increased rate of developing these acceptable it's like becoming acceptable to them to use violence to solve their problems not all the time can't think of hey I, I, this video is just completely off the top of my head I haven't really done too much research on this but I, I will I will do more research on this and then I will make another video about this um, Let's see. Violent video games cause players to associate pleasure and happiness with the ability to cause pain in others. I mean, some people are just like that. I mean, my cousin likes to hit my other cousin, and he gets, like, pleasure out of doing that, so... Young children are more likely to confuse fantasy violence with real-world violence and without a framework for ethical decision-making. They may mimic the actions in uh, violent video games. They may. I'm just gonna highlight that. They may do this. Once again, this is the children and the people with mental problems like insanity and like schizophrenia and shit like that, you know. Violent video games require active participation, repetition, identification or and identification with the violent character. With with new game controllers allowing more physical interaction, the immerse and interactive characteristics of video games can increase the likelihood of youth violence. Not really. What they're like if we if we come up with like a video game like Call of Duty or whatever, like make it 3D and holographic, you know, where the kids can actually get up and walk around inside the game, they're actually going to like want to go home and actually play the game more. So they wouldn't want to actually go out and do it and get in trouble. Um, playing violent video games increases aggressive behavior and arousal. I don't normally get a boner when I play video games, but it will depend on which video game. The 2009, 2009 study found that it takes up to four minutes for the level of aggression, aggressive thoughts and feelings in children to return to normal after playing a violent video game. It takes 5 to 10 minutes for a heart rate and aggressive behavior to return to baseline. Violent video games show that most blood generate more. That sh uh, video games sh that show the most blood generate more aggressive thoughts. When blood is present in video games, there is a measurable increase uh, in arousal and hostility. So, more blood equals more boners. But, I mean, that's just normal. I mean, you're, you're going to be hyped when you play a game that you have to kill people in. Who cares? It's 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 mostly a boy thing. I mean, there's some girls get that too. Playing violent video games causes the development of aggressive behavioral scripts. Okay, basically all this stuff is just saying stuff with the brain. I'm not even gonna do this. Let me just train. Violent video games train youths to be killers. The U.S. Marine Corps licensed Doom 2 in 1996 to create Marine Doom to train soldiers. So what? They released a video game to help train their soldiers. Who cares? Now let's just go up to the cons here. Violent juvenile crime in the United States has been declining as violent video game popularity has increased. 
the arrest rate for juvenile murders has fallen 71.9% uh, between 1995, oh, I thought I got a text, and 2008. The arrest rate for all juvenile crimes has declined 49.3% in the same period. Video game sales have more than quadrupled. Okay. So, this is actually saying this right here. This is what I've been saying. Violent video games do not lead to violent behavior in people that are mentally stable. Many studies suffer from design flaws and unreliable measures of violence and aggression. Uh, The report did not find a relationship between playing between playing violent video games and school shootings. Small correlations are found between video games and violence may be explained by violent youth being drawn to violent video games. Violent games do not cause youth to be violent. Instead, youths that are predisposed to violence seek out violent to it. Oh my god, there's violent like seven times in there. Youth that are I'm not even going to say that word again. To be violent, seek out violent entertainment, such as video games. Playing by video games reduces violence in adolescence boys by serving as a substitute through Earth. Substitute for rough and tumble play. Video games, video game players understand that they are playing a game. To, to, in their ability to distinguish fantasy and reality. Playing video games provides a safe outlet for aggression and anger feelings. Violent video games provide a healthy and safe opportunity for children to virtually explore rules and consequences of violent actions. Violent games also allow the youth to experiment with issues such as war, violence, and death without real-world consequences. See, I'm not going to read all this stuff. I'm just going to leave it at this. You guys can go to this site up here. Right here. Video games procon.org so for copper cab right here do some research before you actually make this I mean opinions are like assholes everybody has one and you sir are an asshole